Hi everyone, uh, my name is Heshika Digahavatura. I head the Spring Team uh, here at Twinery. The Spring Team is responsible for developing and commercializing this, which is the Spring product, which is an active compression device that helps you with circulation uh, and faster recovery. We launched Spring on Kickstarter about a month ago. The campaign just ended. We raised over half a million dollars and the campaign ended with 600,001 um, dollars as a total raise. So we're really excited uh, to take this product to greater heights and see what is next for Spring and uh, take Spring to the next level. Uh, I have a bunch of questions uh, with me that I hope to answer. Uh, let's uh, start off uh, answering them one by one. So the first question is, uh, how diverse is your team? Um, I think in terms of our team, our team is pretty diverse. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Angelo Karunaratna, who heads the, the technical aspect uh, of the team. He holds a PhD in uh, biomechanics. Uh, so he's the one who pretty much uh, defined uh, the solution uh, that we've come up with in terms of the compression pattern, uh, in terms of um, uh, the therapy sessions and everything else that is related to the biomechanics of Spring uh, was, was brought to the forefront by uh, Angelo. Uh, then we have Karthik, uh, who's pretty much uh, you know, the gadgets guy. His expertise is in electronics and electrical engineering. So he's the one who developed all the electronics uh, on this product. Uh, then we had Tanisha, who comes from a finance and economics background. Uh, she was responsible for most of the business modeling, uh, looking at the numbers and making sure that we were making business sense. Uh, we also had Radisha, who looked at a bit of the marketing aspect for the product uh, in terms of, uh, you know, taking it to market. Uh, and then uh, I was looking after most of the business and coordinating um, pretty much the entire project and making sure that uh, we had something that made business sense and could uh, become uh, the next big, big business opportunity for MAS. What is the problem that Spring is trying to solve? Um, like I said earlier, uh, Spring uh, was born because we realized that a lot of people out there in the market uh, had various types of leg conditions. Uh, now, in terms of addressing those leg conditions, um, there wasn't really uh, a tool or a product that could help a lot of those people. On the one hand, um, you had active compression devices that were used uh, in hospitals. If you had an operation and you were bedridden, uh, you couldn't walk around, um, especially in the US, uh, they would plug you into these big boots or compression boots that are tethered uh, by wires and horses into this big device that will be next to your bed uh, and that is plugged into a wall socket. Uh, you will be bedridden, you cannot move once that device is fixed on you. They'll switch it on and that would compress your leg uh, and by virtue of that, uh, improve your overall uh, circulation. Uh, now, those devices were only found in hospitals uh, and were really, really expensive. That was one end of the spectrum. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, people like elite athletes uh, used very similar devices, of course, not medical looking, but delivered on pretty much the same technology uh, in terms of compressing the leg um, and improving overall, overall circulation. Now, the elite athletes use this type of product for post-match or post-workout recovery. So for instance, if you were FC Barcelona, uh, after a match, you would go into a recovery session. You would put on these boots and then recover for about one hour. During that one hour period, you wouldn't actually have any method of moving around uh, and going about your day-to-day -day activities. You would stick to that one place and recover. Those devices were also very, very expensive. Now, both of these products at the two ends of the spectrum, one at, in the hospitals and the other used by elite athletes, uh, were very expensive, uh, were unreachable to the general public. So what we really wanted to do 
was bring the benefits of those two devices, uh, those two active compression devices, to the general public. We wanted to make a device uh, that brings the therapeutic benefits of active compression to a wide audience. People like you and me, uh, everyday professionals, everyday gym goers, um, middle-aged people with certain leg conditions, all could benefit from a device that gave them active compression therapy. So we wanted to really make the benefits of active compression reachable and affordable to the general public. What made you name this product Spring? Um, so I think that was a very interesting process. Uh, we were going through names internally and externally. We had a bunch of names listed out. The one name that we were going to go ahead uh, was called Circulate. Uh, luck had it that when we Google the name, someone else had applied for a trademark for the same name. Uh, so we had to settle for something else. And then we went back to the drawing board um, and then threw out a few names. And the one that stuck the most with everyone on the team was Spring, uh, spelt with a Y, of course, uh, because we thought that the brand that we were, you know, uh, birthing uh, needed to be upbeat, uh, full of energy, and something that would put uh, spring in your step. Uh, sp especially, we thought that spring as a brand, especially uh, that is focused on recovery and faster recovery, uh, would be equivalent to a normal spring, something that compresses and then jumps back into action very fast. Uh, that is the idea that we had uh, for spring, and then we went ahead with it. The world's most advanced muscle recovery tool, um, that's what we call it on Kickstarter. Uh, the question is, what is special about this innovation? Um, what is special about Spring is that uh, it is a portable, untethered, um, pneumatic, active compression device that is also affordable. Uh, like you can see, uh, both of the units, one for your right leg and one for your left leg, uh, are relatively compact compared to a lot of the other active compression devices out there. They do not have wires or hoses uh, attached to them, so that means you can wear them and walk around. Uh, you don't need to be plugged in uh, while you're wearing them, so it's completely mobile. Uh, and they're relatively compact that you can carry them around in your backpack or, or, or a separate bag for them. Um, so how we've gone about achieving this is, uh, I think, uh, what is most important. So we've used pneumatic technology. Uh, basically, pneumatics is air compression. That is the technology that we use to compress the leg. Uh, by compressing the leg, what we're doing is we are mimicking the calf muscle pump. Uh, the calf muscle pump pretty much is like your second heart. Uh, it is responsible for pumping back up all the blood that flows down to your legs. Uh, so we target that specific area and provide pneumatic compression. Uh, some other factors that are very unique about the product is that we have two patent pending compression patterns um, for spring. Now the compression patterns are very important because you need to compress your calf muscle in the correct way with the right amount of pressure, with the right amount of timing. If you don't get those uh, aspects right, you might actually be doing more damage than good. So we really put a lot of time and effort in terms of getting the compression pattern right so that it improves your overall circulation and has the highest efficacy level. Uh, so those are the unique aspects um, about Spring. Uh, in terms of making it the most advanced, is all of those factors tied together. Uh, it has patent pending technology. Uh, it has cut away all the wires and horses and brought it into a very compact device. Uh, it has made the usability of the device or the usability of active compression way more easy uh, so that anyone could simply buy this product uh, and use it uh, at home or on the go. Um, and it basically brings all of those benefits of active compression uh, in a portable, untethered, easy to use, uh, and affordable format. What is your strategy to introduce Spring to the wider market? Um, like I said, we launched on Kickstarter. We raised $600,000, which I think is a really exciting prospect for us. It showed validation uh, for Spring, 
which really, really excites us. Uh, what's more is that I believe it's one of the most successful launches um, here at MAS. Uh, in terms of the wider market, uh, what we really want to do is uh, get this product into the hands of as many people as possible because we know that whoever experiences Spring will definitely benefit uh, from using the product. So we want to reach out to a bigger audience. Now, how are we going to do that? Uh, we finished on Kickstarter. Uh, now we're moving on to Indiegogo in demand. Uh, and post that, uh, we will have Spring uh, on our website for anyone around the world uh, to be able to buy the product. Uh, more than that, we also want to work with different types of partners. It could be retail distributors, uh, it could be elite athletes who are playing for the NBA, the uh, NFL, or any major league team uh, to support um, uh, Spring. We are in discussions with a few teams to see how they can support us. Uh, we are also uh, looking at uh, other partners in the medical, uh, health and wellness, and travel space to help take Spring into all of those individual markets. So based on the initial discussions that we've had, the interest that has been shown to us, we really know that there is huge amounts of potential for Spring to be a worldwide phenomenon. So what I could ask of everyone of you is to support us uh, in our journey because our team is super excited and everyone here at MAS is super excited and we hope that we can bring the benefits of active compression through spring to a global audience.